Hello guys, I have just finished uni for the day. That makes it sound like I've been here all day. I've only been here for like an hour and a half. Um, but I'm heading home now and tonight I'm gonna take you guys through my night routine. Anyway, it's 20 past four so I need to drive home and finish my actual work day and then um, we can proceed with the vlog. All right, it is 5.23 p.m., 5.24 p.m. I've just finished work and it is time to make some dinner. But Rachel's not here for dinner tonight. She's out on a triple date and Morgan has to be out of the house by like quarter past seven. So I'm gonna go get started on dinner. I'm gonna cook with you guys. I'm gonna take you through my night routine. And yeah, I've been loving my nighttime routine recently. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. Little entree. Tonight we're having crumbed chicken and tomato spaghetti. Look at that, Morgan's excited. Wait, no. Morgan specifically asked me to cook this for dinner. We have like five recipes to choose from this week and five of us, so we have a night each. Correct. Morgan specifically asked me to cook this for dinner tonight and proceeded to have her own tomato spaghetti for lunch. She's like, today's a tomato spaghetti day, so that is what we are doing. So I've got my little meal kit out of the fridge. Cool, I'm excited. I'm gonna cook this, I'm gonna make it into a little time lapse for you, montage time lapse deal for you guys so you can watch and I can cook. And um, I'll catch you guys with the finished product. All right, here we have the finished product. We have a uh expectation versus reality our sharp knives are in the dishwasher so i didn't quite get the cute chopped up chicken <laughs> pieces but that is okay the gals have theirs ready to eat turns out it is just morgan and danny and i for dinner because rachel's gone out and tay got home from uni and was like hey i'm not here for dinner so it's all good it means there's more left of this for tomorrow but yeah thank you so much to hello fresh for sponsoring this portion of the video um as you guys know we love hello fresh it's so good as a flat um for like meal planning for budgeting you don't have to go grocery shopping, which is like my personal favorite part because previously we'd have to meal plan ourselves and then work out how much it's gonna cost and then someone would have to take one for the team and go grocery shopping and like, it would always be a mess. So HelloFresh just makes our lives a lot easier. But if you wanna try HelloFresh for yourselves, you can do just that by using my code HFMLYT for up to $120 off your first four boxes. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna go and enjoy this and then um, deal with the dishes and then carry on with the rest of the evening. All right, it is quarter past seven. It's just Danny and I at home now because Morgan's gone out and Danny's going to work soon. So very social tonight in the Smeg flat we are. Yeah, I don't really have a plan for tonight. I'm trying to use every ounce of my self-control to not do two things right now. Firstly, not do uni work. I don't really like doing uni work after like I've finished like, my last shift of work for the day. So basically nothing after 5.30. It's not happening. The other thing that I'm trying not to do right now is go to Kmart. I have to film a marketing like video assignment, audio visual report thing tomorrow and it's taking every ounce of my self control to not go buy a ring light right now because I could write it off as a business expense. But just because I could write it off as a business expense does not mean that I should be making the expense in the first place. So yeah, what am I gonna do tonight? I don't know. Since I wake up at six o'clock in the morning, I do like to go to bed early and I'm trying to be like in bed like reading my book because I'm a reader now. Who saw that coming? By like nine o'clock at the latest so I can have my light out sometime between 9.30 and 10. But yeah, it's only quarter past seven. It is quarter to nine and I have just watched over an hour of on active documentaries like catching up. Um, they're like the best activewear brand. Anyway, Danny is all dressed up because she is working tonight. So Morgan and Danny, Morgan's not working tonight, but Morgan and Danny both work for MediaWorks and do um, like, what do you even call it? Like promotional? We're the promotions. Promotional stuff. So tonight, since it's Rio week, she's off to the Outback. I'm going to town, guys. To hand out what? I don't know. Something. Something. Anyway, I am gonna go get myself ready for bed. I am gonna go cry. <laughs> First step, mood lighting. Second step, need the pajamas. I've been loving the colder weather recently and the fact that the wooded pajamas have come out to play. It's just making my day. So let me get changed. I'll be back in a sec. 
it is now time. I might need to turn another light on because I don't know. The camera's really liking me. It is time to take off my jewellery. I do not wear it. Actually, no. Lies. I wear this to bed because I can get it off, but like I can't really get it back on. So to save myself the pain, I just leave it on. I will tell you guys where my jewellery is from because I get a heap of questions. So first of all, this ring is from Daniel Wellington. This one is from Pandora, as is this one. My watch is from Daniel Wellington. This bracelet is from Walker and Hall. The girls got it for me for my birthday. And my necklace, I don't actually know where it is from owen chose it out for me for my birthday he got the chain and the pendant from two different places guys, i'm really out here setting up the big the big tripod for you guys dad if you're watching this and you're wondering where your tripod is um it's right here my dad's a photographer and he's currently away in the south island and he has been with mum for like nearly two months so i haven't seen them since i turned 20 fun fact this is dad's like travel tripod because it collapses down into this little bag but um it's also very convenient for storage purposes because it doesn't take up much space and so i use it myself at night i just turn this mirror lights up it's kind of cool anyway i just turn that on at night because these lights are very bright i'm gonna use one of these because if you use one of these you can tie your hair up and it's straight it keeps the straightness hey I didn't realize it was you, and I was like, Who is this in my house? It's me, your flatmate. <laughs> Leave in your house, leaving <laughs> to go to work. Sink is full, and I just put my face wash in there. Um, the face wash that I use and have been using literally for the last since like year 11, last six years, is this gentle milk cleanser from Avene. I started using this because my mum used it, works great. Anyway, I just do literally one pump of that. The bottle lasts so long, and then I just rub it onto my face. It's just, it feels so nice. I used to let this sit on my skin while I brush my teeth and then wash it off. But I've decided that it works better when I put it on and then instantly take it off with some warm water. I have my pink matching face cloth. And I'm just going to take that off. To all of uh, my pals out there that have sensitive skin, Avene products are like my go-to. Since I've been on medication, it's been less noticeable, but I have psoriasis. Um, which is the skin condition where your skin grows faster than it should and then dries up and goes scaly. Not, not, I would not recommend. I've had it since I was 18 months old because um, I had the poop and gave myself salmonella, which triggered my immune system, which triggered psoriasis. But aside from that, it's on both sides of my family, so I was doomed from the get-go. Um, I find Avene products are really good because my skin is super dry, super sensitive, and um, yeah, Avene is... A brand that I found that's just great for it. Now that my face is clean and good to go, I use two products on my face, both of which I am running very low on. Surprise, surprise, they're also both Avene. I will say as well that my skincare at night slightly differs to my skincare in the morning. So if you want me to do a video on my morning skincare routine, do let me know. This is the first product I go in with, which is if it's if it wants to focus any time now. Um, I know the bottle looks tiny, but this has literally lasted me so long. Tiniest little bit, and I just put that on my eyelids and under my eyes, because I psoriasis, like, even though I'm on my injection for my skin, I still do get psoriasis, like, under my eye, like, under here. It's not really obvious, but... There is a little bit under my eye, so I just make sure that I moisturize it. And then in terms of a facial moisturizer, people are going to come at me in the comments tell me, telling me not to do this, but I've been doing it for like three years and I think it works amazingly. So anyway, the Soothing Moisture Mask. So this is a face mask you need to leave on for like 10-15 minutes and wash it off. I, however, leave it on all night. So, I'm really low on this, so I really need to go to the bike. So again, not much. Cheeks, nose, forehead, chin. And then I just rub it in. Um, what's next? Brush my teeth. Got the baby toothbrush also. I've learned that I am incredibly harsh on my toothbrushes. That is disgusting. Anyway, the toothbrush is great. It's from Simply Great actually. It was sent to me. It was gifted. So thank you then. It's quite surprising. I also need more toothpaste. Last step. If you remember from lockdown last year in August, because of face masks, I ended up with a rash all around here and on my nose and like on my eyes. It was really, really bad. And I don't know why it's fine on the rest of my face, but my lips are still struggling. I was prescribed this 
little ointment by my dermatologist when I started having problems and um, I'm still using it just on my lips which is why this little tube has lasted me so long. Um, it's called tacrolimus if anyone out there has eczema or psoriasis and would like to or dermatitis and would like to ask their dermatologist or doctor about it. It's not funded unfortunately so per tube it's like 50 something dollars um, but it's literally the only thing that I can put on my lips to soothe them. I put a little tiny 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 bit just on my lips. I'm getting up tomorrow morning to work out at 6am so I need to choose out an outfit because I find it so much easier like when my alarm goes off I can get changed, go to the bathroom, make my bed, sort myself out and be in the garage ready to work out 15 minutes later. Because I watched the Honor Active video I'm gonna work out in Honor Active tomorrow. It's been quite cold the last like this morning it was Reason with the matching sports bra, and then I need to choose a top. It could be cute, pink and blue. It's kind of vibey. I actually quite like that. Okay, so it's all folded up, and then I just pop that there. I'm ready to go for the morning. In terms of my morning prep as well, just so that I don't have to fluff around in the morning and not like I don't want to make noise to wake up my flatmates. I always fill up my water bottle the night before so I have the water through the night and then I use whatever's left in my workout the next day. Also get up my AirPods and my car keys because I have to I work out in the garage so I have to back my car out so that I have a space to actually work out. I did used to go to the gym. By not going to the gym I'm literally saving myself like 80 bucks a month which is a lot when you're a student. Yes yeah, so normally at this time of the night I would sit down do a bit of reading and then do like wind myself down for bed and then go to bed. Um, this also might be the time of the night where I'd call my parents, call Owen. I am on the home stretch of finishing Atomic Habits. I have like four chapters left I think but my other two books I ordered off book depository like three weeks ago still had not arrived. I am so stoked that I'm actually enjoying reading and this book I would highly recommend to anyone. I'm gonna sit down shortly and read another chapter of this tonight before I go to bed. Also at night I have this daily devotional book that Rachel actually bought me for my birthday last year so I just read a page of that. They have like dates on them. So I just read the one that has the day, the date on it. Also, before I go to bed, I always choose my workout the night before. So when I wake up in the morning, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I loosely decided last night that I was going to redo Sarah's Day Sweat It Reload ebook very loosely. Looks like a glute day tomorrow, which glute day is my favorite day of the week. Go to bed with my workout plans when I wake up in the morning. I'm just making everything so easy for myself, which is also something I learned from this book. I was already doing it, but this book just kind of reinforced that I was on the right track um, with making your habits as easy as possible to maintain. Alrighty, it is time to head to bed. I just took my pillows off and popped them over there because I'm someone who stacks up a million pillows in their bed and then only sleeps with two. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Again, you can use my code HFMLYT for up to $120 off your first four boxes, which is amazing. I'll leave a link down below for that for you guys. If you made it this far in the video, comment the time and the country or city or whatever of when and where you're watching this right now. Also, let me know if you guys want to see an updated morning routine. Now that I'm working from home and doing uni from home, and just everything happens from home these days, um, my morning routine has kind of switched up a little bit. So let me know if you'd like to see that. But anyway, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>